Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. London Yankee 2 Hotel. Over, over. I've got Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. QSL. Hmm. Roger, 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 Roger. QSL, QSL. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. QSL. Over, over. Hello, guys. This is Lina's Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Today I'm on the air with my new radio iPad Pro M1 12.9 inch. What? Am I kidding or what? Stand by and I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, I'm not kidding. I'm really using my iPad Pro M1 with the M1 processor in it uh, to connect to my remote radio ICOM IC705 which is up there in, the, in my shack uh, and I'm just sitting in my backyard. I think this is a new unique software which I'm testing right now and reviewing it today uh, allowing for an iPad to be connected to your radio ICOM IC705 in my case remotely and not like only like VNC uh, connection, uh, for instance, with the Raspberry Pi, where you're only getting the image of your screen. Uh, this is totally fully connection with the audio, transmission, controls, VFO, everything, plus FT4 and FT8. It's also unheard of. Uh, to operate FT8 mode on an iPad. Roger, Roger, Delta Juliet 1 Hotel Alpha Mike, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. All right, guys, so let's jump back to the shack and take a look at some settings on the radio itself, ICOM IC705. So, well, as you see, everything's working. Nothing is connected to the radio. <laughs> I'm not cheating. The settings in the radio itself uh, are, are really not, uh, not very difficult. And uh, since, guys, this is not a tutorial, this is a review of the software. So I'm not gonna go into details on how to set up uh, the radio and how to set up the, the, uh, the iPad uh, but in the framework of the review I may say that all these steps are pretty well and clearly described in the user manual. User manual is okay, understandable, is step by step, every step you need to do is described. Read first the manual. So, of course, it's a violation of a Murphy's Law, who reads the manuals, but anyway, I always do, and it's very helpful. All right, so there are three ways on how we can connect the radio ICOM IC705 and my iPad Pro based on M1 chip. So, uh, the, the first way, it's actually, I think, the simplest and, and, and most useful way is to connect both your radio and your iPad to the same Wi-Fi network of your home or any other Wi-Fi network you are in, so to say, at the moment of, uh, of your uh, using your setup. The second way, uh, in case you are in the place where you're not at home, uh, you are in the place where there's no internet, like in the middle of the forest or on the top of the mountain or wherever you are, but there's no Wi-Fi. That's a disaster, right? So, but ICOM IC705, in this case, it's a smart radio. It helps you with creating for you its own Wi-Fi network around it. It doesn't mean that you and rabbits and foxes and wolves in, and wolves in the forest may connect to the internet through the radio hotspot. No, it only allows you to connect to the radio 
So this local Wi-Fi is created for your iPad to connect it to your radio. So that's a second method. And a third method is when you want to really operate your radio, ICOM IC705, really remotely from the other part of the world. I don't know, frankly, I'm, I'm not going to use this ever, I think so, but uh, in case you can do so if you wish. For that, you need to do some uh, more settings in the radio and in the iPad, but most importantly, you've got to change some settings in your home router. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate this in this review because uh, uh, it takes too much of hassle to to get into the to get into the to connect to the router and to make all these uh, router openings for the external signals and whatever and so far and so on but this is also pretty well described in the manual if this is what you want read the manual and you'll do that so on the radio icom ic705 you need to go first to the menu you go to set and you scroll until the WLAN settings. You go to WLAN settings and here you see connection type and connection settings. So uh, for the first type of connection, it means both the radio and the iPad are connected to the same wireless network of my house. For this connection type we need to choose station and for connection settings it also should be station and then when you go to this you're only interested in this DHCP valid after restart it should be on and you see the IP address so it comes automatically so that's that's what you need to know and uh, and that's it for the other type of connection uh, when imagine you are somewhere in the nowhere in the forest and there's no Wi-Fi around you so ICOM IC705 is capable to create this Wi-Fi network for you it's only gonna connect you to the radio it's not gonna connect you to the internet but that's what we want exactly to be connected to the radio ipad and the radio want to be connected together in the forest so uh, then you go for the connection type you choose not the station but you choose access point and then if you push connection settings you see also ip address uh, you, you're not interested in anything else so you see IP address and it should be different address you see so in this way we established following the user manual of course uh, we established two connection types and two IP addresses these addresses will be used on the software side and uh, each time you connect you may choose which type of connection you are you you want to use uh, at the time of the connection as it comes to the settings of the software it's also nothing difficult at all so once you have your software installed and once you've done all the registration your name call sign whatever entering procedures uh, and you are disconnected from the radio in the beginning, right? You will see uh, the screen like this. You are currently not connected. Tap here to connect. Or you can uh, tap the button connect. And the available radios windows is opening. And you see two available two available actually radios it's the same radio but it's just two different cases of the same radio as i've just been telling so one is a, a hotspot in the event when the radio creates the wi-fi around it itself and the other is uh, my icom 705 it's like my radio 
and my iPad are connected uh, to the same wireless LAN of my home. So, or any other wireless LAN, we can both connect the radio and the iPad. How to connect the radio to wireless LAN, it's written in the manual of the radio. So, if you don't know yet how to do that. So, you choose which case uh, you, you want to have today with your radio. And this case must be selected in the radio. And then you select the same case, the same configuration and the same IP address, which is in the radio already there uh, uh, for the software part. If you suddenly messed up and uh, you try to connect to the hotspot, but in the reality you are on the settings for the wireless LAN connection, nothing will happen. You won't connect simply. Nothing will happen here. You, you just won't connect. So when you change the radio connections to coincide with your choice here, then it will connect. So I push connect and voila, radio nicely connected. I can hear it. I can control it. So, uh, oh yeah. If you want to disconnect, you disconnect. And then look what happened. I have disconnected and the radio switched off. Basically not completely off, but it went to the sleeping mode. That's, to my mind, a very important feature of this software, SDR control, uh, because in this way you can really leave the radio somewhere and uh, you can uh, switch it off or just make it go to, to, to the sleep mode. It's not working, so it's just sleeping. And then when you connect again, you can wake it up. And that's, that's the full remote control, I would say. Radio is sleeping and I wanted to connect again. So I'm choosing my ICOM IC705 scenario again. I push connect and you see, opa, radio, radio starting from, from new and it's connected. So everything's working. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Would I want it to connect uh, to the radio through the hotspot of the radio? I would have chosen the another scenario, the IC705 hotspot scenario and in the radio and in the software and then the radio would connect exactly in the same way. In case you don't want the radio to switch off when you switch disconnect the, the, the software, you go to the settings and here you see power off on disconnect. You may slide it to the back to, to the left and it's uh, and this function is disabled. In this case when you switch uh, when you disconnect uh, from the software, the radio will stay running. All the controls here are, are basically the same controls are on the radio. You will, you will recognize them all and nothing, um, nothing difficult. Uh, you may switch the sound off and you, you may listen on the radio or you may switch the sound on on the iPad and listen through the iPad and here are the sound settings so you can establish the main volume uh, you can enable output device so you have to enable output device you enable input device the microphone uh, you choose uh, uh, you switch the mic uh, iPad if you wanna if you want to operate uh, from the microphone uh, of uh, your iPad, but equally you may operate from the, from the from microphone of your radio connected to your radio. Uh, you may operate from your earphone uh, set if you wish so connected to your iPad and uh, you have to choose then the appropriate settings. So what is good, uh, in whatever mode you work, uh, and you can work in all the modes, uh, CW, SSB and FT8 mode, you can uh, uh, have the QSO logger window, enter window all 
at all times on on your screen one of the best things really in this uh, sdr control software is the integrated ability to work ft8 and ft4 digital modes uh, on an ipad version it's only these two digital modes on the mac version there is also the rtty in uh, module included i don't know why it's not included on the ipad version uh, let's hope it's gonna be done in the future but ft8 and ft4 surely are the most popular digital modes at the moment and that these are integrated into this sdr control software package it's it's really very very convenient because it's logging and working is all integrated in one all you need to do you just go to the tools and you choose ft8 icon tap on rx and you hear the signals all right so i'm on 17 meters now and it starts decoding in difference from uh, wsjtx ft8 so to say app original one you can't make you know both the water waterfall and the uh, qso fields visible in one so to say in one screenshot here on ipad uh, on macbook version it's possible to resize the windows and move them and to make you know waterfall um, like you know like this window and and like these windows uh, somehow combine together into one screenshot uh, but uh, on an ipad it's, it's it's not possible or i don't know it simply may be yet um, but if, if if you guys know how to do that please write write it down in the comments but uh, it doesn't seem that it's you know it's it's kind of a you you can't you know you can't you, you can move you can scroll but you can't resize all right turkish station tango alpha 2 alpha november kilo answering me all right it seems like it seems like qso is over and on the next over when the qso is over the logging the logging window pops up automatically and all i need to do just just to save the contact very nice let's say we don't want anymore to run the ft8 so we just change mode from data switch and let's try let's say we want to go to cw let's choose cw and let's go to the cw portion of the band CW was done without the keypad and uh, it was live mode in the live mode uh, in the live mode here you just you, you just send as you type but uh, guys there's something something a little bit wrong with this it's it's a delay when I push when I push a button here it, it, it's kind of a delay and due to that I, I, I can't simply can't type and send quick morse code when i listen on the radio so then it's it, it's okay but, but when i transmit live it's something wrong with this uh, keyboard cw so i think maybe in the next um, in, in the next updates of the software and the updates coming uh, very often with the software which is pretty good uh, so maybe maybe this uh, this is gonna be somehow fixed but in principle it is possible to make even CW contacts with no keypad connected. To run the SDR control software, you don't need to have 
the latest and greatest iPad on the market, like M1 12.9 inch with a newly designed display, whatever, LED. You may use any iPad you've got, which is able to run on the software version no less than 15.0. So, for instance, my favorite everyday iPad is my old iPad Pro 10.5 inch. Uh, it's not M1 chip, it's just pretty old, um, so maybe some Intel or so, I, I don't know what kind of chip is in there, frankly. Uh, but it's uh, almost, I think it's four years old. So, but uh, it's still upgradable uh, to the new software. And at the moment, the newest software for the iPad machines, iPad OS, is 15.4.1. It's here, it's still updatable, and it, it, it perfectly runs uh, with the SDR control program. All right, so 12.9 uh, inch uh, my iPad Pro is disconnected now uh, from the software, and uh, this is uh, and this iPad Pro, the old one, 10.5 inch iPad, is perfectly uh, is perfectly usable for these purposes. Even maybe more usable than the big one, because this one is really portable. I can I can easily toss it into the into the backpack, toss it in, toss it out. So push uh, start the program. Uh, you are currently not connected, of course, the same message as it should be. I press connect and it connects straight to the point because it's uh, the automatic connection mode is activated. It's working and uh, so everything's running and you can see it's running on the radio too. Mm, so it's, it's, um, it's okay. So uh, any iPad you've got it, it, it will work with the SDR control software uh, with the only condition it runs on the software no less than 15.0 version. So that's it. Well, I like this program, the software very much because uh, for few reasons actually. First of all, uh, there's no any other software on the market being designed and working pretty nicely with the iPad uh, tablets. Finally, we got some quality software allowing us for running ICOM radios uh, remotely in a way that it's, you know, could be controlled having the radio in your backpack and your tablet, iPad somewhere on your laps or on your table on the barbecue place somewhere in in the park or in on just in the city you see in the, in the city <laughs> bench whatever so um this is not a free piece of software this app is priced and sold at the price of 44.99 euros and it's sold only and solely on the app store secondly this software, SDR control for ICOM, it's not for all ICOM radios. It's only for three ICOM radios. ICOM IC705, which I've got. Uh, ICOM IC7610, which I don't have. And ICOM IC9700, the VHF UHF radio. And it's not for ICOM IC7300. How comes? How comes? Everybody has been asking Marcus how comes and he answered uh, explaining that ICOM IC7300 is not included into a happy family of these three uh, other ICOM radios due to some reasons that the, the ICOM IC7300 has only got the uh, USB cable connection uh, possibility uh, and this USB uh, port capacity is not powerful enough to stream the whole flow of data which comes from the radio to the to the laptop uh, to the uh, to the iPad and and vice versa. That's according to Marcus, and that's why uh, he he's not included uh, this radio into the family. Well, okay, 
I don't know. That's that it is how it is. So in general, um, the software has been working uh, flawlessly for me. I've been testing it for more more than a week now, and uh, it runs all modes. It runs SSB. It runs CW. It runs FT8 and FT4 uh, with, with no problems. Uh, there is minor problem with the with the CW signal monitoring uh, on your iPad uh, when you transmit in the live mode. So when you transmit on the straight from the keyboard, there's something strange going on, uh, and I, um, I I don't like it. But I think uh, I think Marcus probably already knows about that, and this this I, I I'm sure. It's going to be fixed in one of the upcoming updates of the of the software. Uh, the software is in the so to say active life now. Uh, we will see uh, what's what's going to be happening with this software. Maybe some other competitor uh, competitor software um, uh, apps will appear within a time. Anyway, this software is here. It's working and it's working pretty nice. So guys, with this uh, I will end this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, please uh, make and leave your comments in the comment section. Do you have this type of software, SDR control? Do you use it? Does it work fine with your iPad? What kind of iPad do you use? What kind of radio do you use? Is it is it uh, IC705 or are the other two radios? So all that is very interesting for me because it's it's um, so it's it's an interesting process to learn and to compare and to exchange views and news so thanks again peace and victory for ukraine and see you in my next videos 73 this is linus lima yankee 2 hotel